Hey everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to create a tumbler wrap for a 20 ounce skinny tumbler in Canva. So first we're going to start with Etsy. And what I'm going to look up is um, a pencil tumbler. And I have Everbe, so this um, shows uh, the search volume on Etsy. Um, so I put in pencil tumbler wrap. Let me put in pencil tumbler PNG. You could do pencil uh, tumbler SVG. So <clears throat> if I go to pencil tumbler um, wrap, you can see here some um, wraps here. Um, this is cute teacher art. Um, and this is what I'm going to show you how to do just a basic pencil tumbler wrap. This has a glitter um, effect to it. Um, but these are fairly easy to make and I'm going to show you how to do it. And then you can customize it any way that you want to. So let's head back over to Canva. And again, if you don't have an account, there's a link down below. Go down and sign up. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new custom size. So you're going to go to the top, create a design, and you're going to come here where it says customize size. You're going to click on that. Now measure your 20 ounce skinny tumbler. This is what this is for. But the average size is going to be in inches. So you want to change pixels to inches and then we want to do 9.33 by 8.2 create a new design okay so here we are inside of um, Etsy and what you want to start off is go to elements and we're going to grab a whoops a square now note, I have the pro account. So here you'll see when I hover over um, this, for example, this um, crown where it says pro does not pop up here on the flowers. This means you can use it. It's a free account usable um, graphic. This, however, you have to have the pro account to use. So um, the butterfly here is free. And then this pink one here, you need a pro account. So I just wanted to point that out. You can make these tumblers in Canva with a free account. A pro account just gives you a lot more um, options and um, more graphics. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. Okay, back to the tutorial. So we're going to make the top of the pencil. So again, I grabbed a box. I'm going to put it at the top. I'm just going to resize this drag this over and this is going to be the top part of our pencil. Now I want to show you a little trick. Head on over to Google and you're going to type pencil palette and um, oops I need all sorry about that. Here you see a website color hex color codes and you just want to click on that. So here's pencil color palette and then here and you can look up anything. Here are the actual codes for each color. So this code is black. This co color uh, code is for this yellow, etc. And I'm going to show you where to put them inside Canva. So we're going to start off with the per, I guess, fuchsia. I'm going to copy control C. I'm going to head back over to Canva. And what you want to do is click on the box and then you're going to click on the color here. And then here where it has the plus sign, it plus sign, it says add a new color. You're going to click on that. And then underneath, you're going to see there's a code here. You're going to paste the code we just grabbed and it automatically will change the color in your um, graphic. So 
Um, this is a little too fuchsia for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to dial that down just a little bit. So I'm just going to grab here in the gradient. Um, I don't want to go too crazy. I'm just going to kind of leave it. This is just the top of the pencil. Okay, we're just going to leave it like that. I'm going to grab another box. I'm going to put it below here. Grab this across. And I'm going to make this a little bit um, smaller. I may have to readjust these. I'm going to head back over to our um, color palette. And I'm going to grab this um, kind of gray color. Copy that. Head back over to Canva. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to click, hit the plus sign, and I'm going to paste that in. And now you can see it changed my color palette here. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to grab another box. And actually, before we do that, let me get rid of this. I want to put my chevron. So go to elements here on the left and you're going to type chevron and let me just click see all and um so these are pro account chevron little triangles so i'm just going to look for this one's too thin this one will work it's free and we can change the color so i'm going to click on that one and i'm going to make this a little smaller and I'm going to probably come to about here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. So control C, control V, make a copy of it. And then I'm going to just drag that over. And I'm going to go across the page here, just like that. Let me just copy this make this fit perfect okay and i'm actually going to grab all of this so i'm just um copying Control c Control v i want to make this a little bit wider so i just made a second um copy i mean i'm just kind of putting it right below just to kind of make that a little bit bigger all right perfect okay now let's go back to elements going to grab a box and here we're going to make this the main pencil part. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this, bring this down and I'm going to go over the chevron. So it covers the little triangle parts here. And don't worry, we're going to fix this. We're going to head back over to our color palette and we're going to grab the, oops, I didn't mean to do that. We're going to grab the yellow code back over to Canva, go to our color and copy and paste. There's our color. Now what we want to do, I want to put this behind the Chevron pieces here. So click on this, come to the top where it says position, click on it, and we're going to put it to the back. Now you can see it's behind the chevron pieces here. <clears throat> okay. Now, and mind you, you can change these colors to anything you want. I'm just showing you how to do a basic pencil tumbler wrap and how to find color palettes. So now we need to make the bottom of this and we're going to grab another box. I'm going to drag it down and drag this across like so i want this to be black so we don't need to he he uh, head over to the color palette we can just click on the color and black is usually just like a primary color so you can just change that there and i'm going to do the same exact thing click on your box go to position to the back so there you go now again you can if we head back over to etsy you can see the different color palettes. So this one's very similar to ours. This one doesn't have any black here. This one literally is exactly what we just did. 
Um, and this one is obviously, these are all custom made. You can do anything you want. So I would start at Etsy and get some inspiration. Um, I love this with the pencils. That's really cute. Okay. So let's head back over to Canva and finish this. So I think I'm happy with the color and everything that I did here. So I just want to add a couple more elements. So I'm going to go here and teach in teacher. And again, if you have the pro account, you can use these elements. Otherwise, if you have a free account, you can go to the three like little dashes here, click on it, scroll down where it says free. And then this will pop up all the free um, items that you can use. So this is cute here with the little, um, I like this. Let's do this. We'll make this completely free. And I'm going to copy and paste this, bring this over, make this a little smaller. Oh, this is cute. There we go. Make this like that. All right. Again, you can customize this any way you want. And then I'll keep this free. Let's grab teachers. And remember, this is a, a tumbler, so it's going to wrap around. So if you want to center this, what I like about Canva is see how the red line pops up here in the middle. That means it's in the center. So you can just put it like that. I mean, you could have teacher here and then you could add text, add a subheading. I'm just going to move this up here and say, I don't know, we'll say, um, awesome teachers. And then what you can do is you can come here to the font and you can change the font style that kind of goes with your theme I actually like that here awesome teachers that's cool and then let's go back over to elements and see what else we can find oh i like this dream big work hard make it happen here we go i think i'll put this on this side and let's grab so what i like about canva is see how the magic recommendations popped up here so if you click on that it'll give you more um, similar suggestions to what you just pulled so we have big uh, dream big work hard make it happen and then you can put on the other side let's see oh kiss the crayons um let's do let's go back up here i'm gonna do positive vibes on the other side so I'm just going to drag that over. Here we go. And then this little like twirly thing here, if you click on it, you can rotate this around. So we'll just kind of do this and then maybe we'll do this. And maybe we want to personalize this to an actual teacher. So we'll just put, um, let's see, I'll use mine because I'm a professor. Professor, I'm going to do Gemma. And obviously this doesn't match um, our other, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. Okay. But you guys got the idea. All right. So once you have your 20 ounce tumbler wrap the way you want it, colors, etc. to save this, you want to go up here to the share, click on it. You want to hit download. Now you want to download this as a PNG. Okay. So PNG, and then you want to make sure that it's a transparent background. Now, unfortunately, the only way you can download this, load this as a transparent background is if you have a pro account. I have the pro account. It's about $12 a month. And let me just say, I use Canva multiple times. Um, I design everything in Canva. I do my videos in camera. 
uh, uh, Canva. So it is honestly worth the money and what you can do in it. You can use it for so many different things. Okay. Again, the link is down in the description if you want to head on over. So here I'm going to save it and you just want to download it. And then you will then, depending on what, you know, you're using it, your Cricut, if you're printing it on a printer, um, you will now have your item from, you know, wherever you saved it in your um, desktop. And then you can print it. You can uh, save this. You can sell this on Etsy. Um, you can, maybe you want to make a bunch of teacher gifts. Um, you can tumblers, you can um, make mugs. There's so many things you can make here, but this is just a simple tutorial how to create a tumbler wrap. This one is specifically for a 20 ounce skinny tumbler. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys on the next one.